to welcome you to uh, the first in a series about my layout which is called Woodset Central. It's a loft layout and uh, over the next few videos I'd like to show you around and show you how uh, the layout progresses as I continue to build it and improve it. The loft layout is far from finished at the moment. We still have a lot of work to do. We've laid most of the track and most of the points are electrified and uh, we're working towards adding more scenery and making things more realistic. But more of that in the future. Anyway, I'd like to uh, thank you for watching and hope you enjoy the uh, videos that follow. So starting off with the station you can see that uh, Woodset Central is uh, a terminus station. It has two stopping tracks and uh, two through tracks, two fast through tracks. And if we pan around a little bit you can see uh, the central waiting area and there's a, a diesel multiple unit, a D102 uh, waiting there in the background to uh, start its run. The, the platforms uh, are reasonably long. Um, we can take eight carriage unit on both of the terminus platforms and a slightly longer unit uh, on the through trains. In the, uh, in the distance we can see the diesel multiple unit sheds to the far end of the layout, um, the dual tunnels going under the high ground. I'll give you a, a better close up of that in a moment. So at the end of the platform you can see the uh, footbridge and also the signal box which controls the, the main junction on the layout. And if you just uh, pan around a little, you can see the VMU the unit in the uh, far background and the uh, tunnel entrance I talked about earlier. The VMU unit, you can see uh, a Diesel multiple unit uh, waiting there, going in, ready to go into service. And in the background, um, you get a view of the double tunnel entrance under the high ground. The tunnel uh, sweeps around to the right and into the open countryside. At the uh, side of the major tunnel high ground is the turntable where most of the diesel locomotives are currently parked at the moment. Uh, rolling stock uh, consists mainly of blue period diesels, um, class 47s, class 37s, Deltic, um, the obligatory shunter and uh, the class 31 I believe it is. A view from the other end of the uh, diesel multiple unit sheds uh, shows that uh, we even have an old Ginty painted up as one of the uh, children's favourites. The control of the switching and points on the layout is using uh, mega points controllers and uh, this is the uh, uh, current track plan. There's something like uh, 32 points serving the total uh, layout. And these can either be switched from the control panel or from the uh, ECOS controller which uh, sits next to it. As I've already noted, all the points are electrically uh, controlled with frog switching. Um, the equipment used is all mega points. It's highly recommended. Uh, it works very well and it also uh, can be linked 
into the ECOS controller and into the uh, track plan on the ECOS controller so that you can switch routes uh, via the ECOS controller. To the other side of the layout we have the fiddle yard. Um, it has uh, six tracks for holding stock um, and the layout also has uh, four running tracks uh, so four trains can be running um, in the, at any any point in time around the layout. There's two fast trains up and two fast tracks up and down and uh, two slow tracks up and down for uh, goods traffic.